Hello everyone, this is Andrea Dumbecki with angelfairyhealing.com and today I'm showing the first proof of my Enchanted Fairy Heart Oracle deck. This is very exciting to actually have the first proof. It's looking pretty good. I'm just going to make a few more art revisions and a few more book revisions and it will be available in a couple of weeks. I'm hoping before September 1st. And so this is the box. This is the back of the box. Everything's looking really great. I'm really happy with the printing quality from Game Crafters. And this is the booklet um, with all the messages for each card. And then this is what the back of the cards look like. Cool. I love the way the back of the cards turned out. And then we have 44 cards, um, each with a different message, a different... Um, fairy or tree. <laughs> so first we will pull a card for everybody and I pulled the leprechaun card. Yay! Leprechauns are around nonstop. Um, the signs of the leprechauns are the clover and a tree stump and I was even in the forest this weekend and I saw non-stop clovers and they were big ones in the shape of hearts and I really felt the energy of the leprechauns and the leprechauns come through to bring their magic and to remind you that you have the potential to create anything you need to open your heart to believe and to use your magic and you can use your creation magic by doing good deeds. Ask the leprechauns what you can do for them right now. The fairies and the leprechauns always need favors and when we help them, they help us. The leprechaun reminds us that when you open your heart and give to others, you thus receive. Um, when we give to others, we get out of our own way our own fears and we open our heart to the flow of the universe so I'm wishing you all leprechaun magic and look for those clovers and tree stumps it means the leprechauns are with you the next card I'm pulling is the wonder fairy a uh, great card uh, the wonder fairy comes to us to really help us to open our eyes to see the beauty all around us be grateful for magic and to really look at the details of the world say hi to the birds the trees look at the details of flowers visit the squirrels there are so many things in our beautiful worlds and i think that we have you know kind of taken them for granted so this fairy is really here to help us to live in the present really open our eyes and appreciate our surroundings the next card I pulled is the self-love fairy and this card is very important for us lately because you know I believe that self-love is at the root of everything if you love yourself you can get through anything you can heal anything and this fairy has a really beautiful pink healing energy reminding us that we have so much love in our heart we can use this love to heal ourselves to bring inner peace and a simple way to activate your self-love is to look in the mirror and look at your own eyes and say I love you um, it, we can always be our own parents you know it's very important and this fairy also reminds us how special and unique we are and that no matter what you may be facing that this too shall pass and I'm sending you lots and lots of love and then the last card is the wish tree fairy and this card is a very powerful card for those who may have given up on our dreams or wishes um, this fairy comes when you need to be reminded that it's never too late to believe in your wishes and dreams and that these fairies are holding them safe for you so I I ask you to ask yourself what is your biggest dream have you given up on something um, how can you open your heart to that innocent faith that your dreams can come true can you make goals can you take action steps can you call on help um, it is your job to be the visionary of your world. Thank you. 
And I'm going to pull one more bonus card just because I'm so excited about the new deck. And the next card is Fairy Grandmother. Fairy Godmother. <laughs> and Fairy Godmother comes to remind us that we have to receive nourishment. Have we been out of balance with giving and receiving? It is very important for us to open our heart to receive and connect with that beautiful divine mother healing energy and remind ourselves that we have a beautiful symbiotic relationship with the universe. The universe is all nourishing. And I know that we can go through um, cycles in our life where maybe we aren't receiving. Maybe we feel burnt out or depleted. That's when the fairy godmother comes to us with her wand and she brings gifts, gifts of luck and um, love and nourishment and reminds us to be open to this beautiful energy. So if you'd like to take a second, I want you to imagine that you are being nourished. Feel the beautiful energy of the fairy godmother, a pale blue healing light frequency pouring down. And I would just like you to open your heart and hands to the gifts of the fairy godmother, to the nourishment of the universe. And I would like you to say in your heart right now, I am open to receiving the nourishment of the universe. Feel this nourishment wash throughout your body, and I would like you to fully receive it. Sometimes we give and sometimes we receive. It is important to receive right now. So thank you for watching this week's video, and I will keep you guys updated on the progress of the Enchanted Fairy Heart Oracle. I'll show you guys a few more cards. There's 44 cards and hopefully it will be available in a few weeks. Um, we're running about a week or two late. I'm making a few more revisions this week and then I will order another proof and then hopefully it will be up for sale. So thank you for watching. Many blessings. You could reach me at angelfairyhealing.com and this is Andrea Dembecki.